Think Gadget Reviews, News, and All About It. OnePlus 3T Review 1. The UK wasn't leaving the EU, Tabularans were still proper triangles and the cheesy what's it Trump wasn't filling the US government with villains that wouldn't look out of place in an Avengers movie. And new, slightly scary world demands a new phone, but thankfully OnePlus hasn't gone all out right on us with the 3T. This is just a OnePlus 3 with a few extras. But that also means the price has gone up from £329 to £399. Are those extras worth the £70 extra? In all honesty, no. But when the pounds belly flop into a vat of boiling oil likely dissolved OnePlus's profit margin despite the price hike of the OnePlus 3, we can't really complain. This phone loses some of the stone-cold bargain status of the now discontinued OnePlus 3, but at £200 less than some rivals, it's an easy 5-star verdict for this classy Android. 2. Just in case OnePlus tried to save a few pennies by using lower quality parts this time around, we also dug into memory and storage speeds. True to form, OnePlus has actually made some improvements. RAM is now an eyeball melting 16,870 megabytes per second quick, up from 15,624 megabytes per second in the OnePlus 3. Again, won't really notice the difference, but just look at how big those numbers are. Big. OnePlus sent us the 128 gigabytes version of the 3T, a new option. And while its storage is a wee bit slower than that of our 64GB OnePlus 3, it still has almost SSD-like speed. For the nerds out there, it reads at 418MB per second and writes at 173MB per second. 3. Battery Drain Next up, let's deal with what looks like the most important change, the battery. The OnePlus 3T has a 3410mAh cell. A nice chunk bigger than the OnePlus 3's 3000 MA. We set up a bit of a stamina obstacle course to see whether there's really much of a difference, starting with a movie, and then 3D gaming for a more demanding test. The results are disappointing. Sorry, everyone. Two hours of playing a video stored on the internal storage lopped 15% off the OnePlus 3 battery and 17% off the OnePlus 3T. That's right, the new phone's battery seems to drain faster. We then gave them another blast back up to 100% charge using the super quick dash charger and set them to run Real Racing 3 for 30 minutes. Yet again, the result wasn't as hoped, with the OnePlus 3T ending up with 85% charge and the OnePlus 3 87. With current software at least, it looks like the OnePlus 3T lasts slightly less long than the OnePlus 3. However, part of this may come down to a tightening up of how the newer phone reports exactly how much battery has left. That's our only hope. Either way, using the phone normally rather than as part of the word stamina drag race, its longevity is very similar to the OnePlus 3's, you'll get a full day as long as you don't hammer the phone too hard. 4. Selfie Conscious The camera on the back is the same, apart from a new sapphire glass coating. It's harder and pricier than the one used before, and the improved software video stabilization that now works with 4K Capture 2. The big news is up front, though. OnePlus has upgraded the selfie camera from an 8MP sensor to a 16MP one. As with the battery, though, the results aren't quite as amazing as you might hope. Despite the lower resolution, in a lot of conditions the older selfie camera actually renders more fine detail, particularly in beardy fuzz and eyebrows. The OnePlus 3T's selfies are smoother and in certain conditions less noisy, but if you're hoping for loads more detail you simply don't get it. 5. OLED Deja Vu It's a 5.5 in. 1080p AMOLED screen with typically slightly ripe colors, good sharpness and great contrast the difference? Without any tweaks our OnePlus 3T has a slightly warmer tone and the brightness curve is not the same, but some of that is down to the software, 
and it's generally the case that different batches of phones can have slightly different color styles. You can also radically alter the tone, setting it to the much less color-saturated sRGB, or customize the color temperature without taming the colors. 6. Ultra Clean Android While there's a custom interface pasted on top of Android here, the aim is to make it look a lot like the normal Android, just with more customization on tap. You can fiddle with the size of icons, get rid of the Google search bar, make a downward swipe anywhere on the screen bring down the notification tray, and more. There are loads of little tweaks to be found if you mine the menus. Unless it's in some dark alcove of the OnePlus 3T we've not discovered yet, it seems like you can't cram extra columns of icons into the interface anymore, but we've never seen any OnePlus owners use this option anyway. 7. The Photo Fiend Just like last time around, the camera is pure joy to use, too. It's quick. The app puts the basics right at your fingertips and doesn't crowd you with silly extras you'll use once and then forget about for the next two years. It's not stripped back to the bone, though. There's slow-mo video, panorama, an excellent auto HDR mode you'll probably use 24-7, and a few extras that'll please the real photo nuts. First, there's HQ mode, which you can use instead of HDR. This is great for use in low light as it maxes out detail capture to net you alarmingly good night shots. The amount of detail you get from this £400 phone is fantastic. A lot of this is down to the great camera stabilization, but HQ also uses much less image smoothing and noise reduction to make super fine details clearer. 8. Familiar Finishing Touches by now you should have the sense that the OnePlus 3T is mostly just like the OnePlus 3, but costs a bit more. To hammer that home, all of the hardware finishing touches that help to define a OnePlus phone are identical. The speaker sits on the bottom, for example, and goes pretty loud. It compares fairly well with most other high-end phones in that while it won't touch a good Bluetooth speaker for sound quality, it won't make you cringe at max volume either. Its finger scanner is unchanged too, sitting below the screen and ready to react super quick as long as your finger isn't too wet. The OnePlus 3T also has the same clever silencer switch as the OnePlus 3. The three-way metal flicker on the left side lets you switch between full-on silent mode, one that just lets through priority notifications and the standard anything goes mode. 9. If the world hadn't just been rocked by a series of drastic changes that affect tech companies just like the rest of us, our only reaction to the OnePlus 3T would be, why? This phone is just like the OnePlus 3 aside from its higher price and a few little extras that don't really change how it is to use or where it lies relative to pricier rivals from Samsung and Co. We get the sense that this phone is here because OnePlus couldn't really afford to sell us the OnePlus 3 anymore. That's a bit sad, but when OnePlus has blown us away with the sheer value of its phones since it arrived, we're happy to give it a pass this time.